What is up guys, Tech James here. So very recently this game called Power Slave, or also known as X Human, I don't know why it's got two names, but this game was ported over onto the PS Vita. So this is the PC version and it actually works very well. So in this video I will show you guys how to install it and how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is go and find Vita Shell. We need to connect our PS Vita to our computer so we can copy across the VPK and the game files. So let's just go and start up Vita Shell. Then all you want to do is press select. Then we're going to go and connect it and I will show you guys exactly what we have to do. So once you guys get over to your computer, the links will be in the description of this video. Now this port is very, very easy to set up. Vita Xhumid is a port of PC Xhumid, an eduke32 fork that supports PowerSlave and Xhumid games. Now the strange thing is PowerSlave and Xhumid seem to be the same thing. I don't know, I'm a bit confused by that. Um, the Vita port does not support demo files, so you must have the full game. Now you will know if you have the full game because the folder will contain these three files. It's going to have stuff.dat, it's going to have book.mov and it's have, going to have demo.vcr. These are the files that basically make the games run so if you don't have these files it's not even going to work. Right here is a very simple installation section. It literally just says install the VPK and make sure to put the folders in the data folder and I will show you guys how to do that anyway. What you want to do is actually select this and you don't want to right click it and just do copy because we will be using that later. It's got controls for the game and it's also got credits for everyone that actually helped in making this. So what we want to do is scroll down. We're just going to click on this link and it's going to bring us to the game's download. What we need to do from here is scroll down and just click download VPK. It also has some screenshots of the game, so if the game looks like something you want to play, I definitely recommend going ahead and grabbing the VPK. Now in my downloads folder, I've got a zip file for the full game and I've also got the VPK that we just downloaded. First of all, we're going to sort out the game zip file. Now your game should actually look like this. As you can see, I got Power Slave. Now I can't exactly give the link to this, but you can find it in about two seconds if you literally just type in Power Save on Google. What we're going to do is right click the zip file, just click on extract here, and it's going to extract it into the folder for us. Now this bit's very simple. All we have to do is right click the folder, go to rename, and we're just going to press Control V to paste in the name that we copied from the website and there you go guys that is literally it for the setup we need to make sure our PS Vita is connected we're going to put the VPK on the route and then all we're going to do is put the um, this folder inside of the data folder now I've already got it so I'm just going to replace these files and there you go guys that is literally it once these two files are copied across so this one in the data this one on the route we can go back onto our PS Vita and we can get this VPK installed so once we are back on Vita Shell, all we really have to do is go into the UXO and we actually have to install the VPK file. So it's called Vita X Humid. Let's just press X on this, X again, and then it should start installing. Now it should only take a couple of seconds to actually install the VPK and as long as you've got the data folder correct, the game should boot up as soon as you start it. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll down, we're going to find it, our Power Slave game. We're just going to tap on start and wait for it to boot up. So if you did it correctly, it will kind of flash um, on the developer screen very quickly and it will actually boot into the actual game. And from here, you can play the game just like you would over on your computer. Um, the sound works and everything like that. It's basically the whole game just ported over from your PC. So let me just give you guys a quick demo. Let's go on new game. I'm just going to press random letters for a username. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to jump into the game and we can actually um, play. So... I think you just press start and there you go we're actually in the game so it's kind of like this Egyptian theme game to be honest I had never heard of this game before but when I saw it had been ported over and it used the um, Duke Nukem engine I thought that might be quite cool to check out so it's kind of unusual a game actually I'm not 100% sure like what this game's about but I'm sure you guys have seen it or some of you have seen it it's very popular got these kind of crabs attacking me right now so the game performs very well the sound works and everything like that there's no real issues with this game at all um, maybe it's hard to kill these crabs there you go I got them you can get guns and stuff like that and if you like these sort of retro like games like inspired by doom it's definitely worth checking out the controls are also listed on the website so if you guys want to find something out on there make sure to go ahead and check that out definitely a decent game for the PS Vita so if you guys enjoyed this quick video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one